Welcome to the Zions Bank Economic Update. I'm Deb Speed and joining me is Robert Svenlove to comment on some of our nation's population trends. Robert, why don't we start by talking about the population growth the U.S. saw from 2015 to 2016. Thanks, Deb. So in 2016, the U.S. population surpassed 323 million people. That's a pretty significant number. Uh, now, the, the growth in the United States is an extremely high. It's just under 1%. But the number of people added last year was just over 2.2 million people. Of that, we had about 1.2 million added through natural increase, which is essentially the number of uh, babies born minus the number of people dying. And then another big number was just under a million people uh, moved into the country. Uh, the net number of new uh, immigrants coming into the country was just under a million. So our country continues to see uh, consistent growth, al although it's not uh, extremely high growth. So where were some of the regions that saw the most growth? So the trends that we're seeing uh, this year are very similar to what we've seen in previous years, where there's a long-term trend in our country of the population moving to the south and to the west. We're seeing very high growth in western states and also in southern states. Even states like Florida and Texas and California, which have very large populations, are seeing big growth. And this is part of a longer-term trend. Uh, what demographers often uh, uh, study is something we call the center of population. So if you take the uni entire United States and imagine that it's a plate, where would you put a nail to balance that plate if everyone uh, had an, an equal weight? Uh, now the center of population in the United States uh, around the founding of our country was just outside of Baltimore, Maryland. So you can see how that would reflect. Everyone lived on the East Coast, essentially either north or south of the Washington, Baltimore area. But uh, progressively as our country has gone along, more and more people have been moving west and that center of population has been moving west. So now it's been, it's moved all the way to now it's uh, the center of population this year is right around south central Missouri. And we can expect that as the population continues to move to the south and to the west, we'll see that center shifting further uh, towards the west coast. It's an interesting way to visualize that change. Yeah. So when we're, you mentioned the west is growing a lot faster and that's where we happen to find ourselves. I'm interested in what the state level data is, is looking like. Yeah, the state level is kind of backing up these long-term trends. Uh, all five of the fastest growing states in the country are either in the west or in the south. Four of them, Utah, Nevada, Idaho, and Washington are all in the west and then the other one was Florida. Uh, Utah actually was the fastest growing state in the country uh, with, uh, with growth over twice the national rate. Uh, Utah in 2016 uh, surpassed three million people, uh, which is a, a big milestone for the state. Uh, it, additionally, we grew by over 60,000 people in Utah, but the really big story going on in the state is the migration, where we uh, topped 25,000 people moving into the state in 2016. Not only is that a big number, but it's also a big increase from the year before. Now Idaho is also seeing very similar uh, population growth where they're approaching 1.7 million people and their migration from 2015 to 2016 more than doubled from about 9,000 people moving into the state in 2015 to over 18,000 people moving into the state. So we're seeing big changes because of that. And why are we seeing those large increases? Well, a big part of that, so especially with net migration. Now, natural increase is kind of based on the fundamental demographics of a state. So it's based on household size, it's based on fertility rates. But migration is entirely based on economics. So if a state has a stronger economy than other states or other areas, then you're going to see people moving in. If a state has a weaker economy than other areas, you'll see people moving out. So not only do Utah and Idaho and many of the, uh, the states in the West have very strong economies, but relative to other parts of the country and other parts of the world, it, they're even, even more pronounced. And so we're having more people moving in and we're seeing accelerating migration coming into the state. So it, it not, only, uh, res not only do these people respond to a strong economy, they also create a, a stronger economy because we have a, a, a larger workforce. So what can we expect to see going forward, both for the nation and for um, our local states? So the nation, we're expecting continued growth the way we've seen. The forecast for our country is to see uh, a similar 
maybe a little bit uh, slower growing population. Uh, uh, fertility rates are dropping a little bit. Um, and we're, what's really going to fund the growth at the national level is going to be uh, international migration. At the state level, uh, we really see uh, both uh, Utah and Idaho and many of the western states continuing to expect very strong uh, employment growth, uh, which will also feed into that strong population growth. So we could actually see, in fact, the, the official forecast for, uh, uh, for Utah is for our migration to increase in 2017. And we can expect that also uh, for many of the, the states in the western region. Great. Interesting things to look forward to. Yeah. Thanks, Robert. Thank you for joining us for this economic update. For more information and analysis, please visit zionsbank.com economy.